was at the deserted north tower of the abandoned TNT plant that reported sightings of Mothman began. A lot of people were really scared to death. It was a big talk of the town. A large, enormous bird's gonna eat you alive and it's gonna swoop down and pick up your little ones. And that's what my mom thought it would do to my nephew. And so they kept their kids in and everybody was sort of afraid for a while. The terror of what they were to see would remain with them forever. And with it would begin one of the great unsolved monster mysteries. Its exact physical appearance would vary in subsequent reports. It was generally described as being humanoid, between five and seven feet tall, with large glowing red eyes, a murky gray-brown body, and bat-like wings. It was said to be wider than a man and to shuffle on spindly, human-like legs. It couldn't talk, but rather shrieked like a girl. Whatever brought this creature to Point Pleasant over the course of three months, Mothman would be seen by literally hundreds of people. And one thing is for certain, they all believed that what they saw was real flesh and blood. Two couples come across a, uh, a large winged man-like creature about six feet tall and it quickly ran towards the building and whenever they tried to drive away it chased the car. My brother said, well, let's just go out there and see. It's all it was, just a hoax anyway, somebody in Halloween costume. And all of a sudden, I saw him looking at me, and then I turned sideways to see what he was looking at, and that's when I saw it. And my brother said, what is that? And I turned around, I looked at it again. I said, I don't know. He said, well, don't look at it. I said, well, what is it? You know, all I seen was just red eyes and some kind of thing running right beside the car. So my brother yelled, well, don't look at it. And I said, well, I'm not, but I was stretching my eyeballs out to the corner. And I kept telling him, hurry up, it's still there, it's still there. Then it just jumped up, and it opened up its wings and flew off into the night. Well, my brother just floored it, and we got out of there. Within three months of his first appearance, sightings of Mothman were to finish as suddenly as they had begun. I believe they caught it and it hushed it up. Uh, some people tied in the Mothman with a lot of the UFO sightings. They felt that uh, the Mothman may have been a distraction uh, sent here to keep people away from the TNT area. I think uh, Mothman was from another dimension, but I don't think he's here anymore.